Hola, hola, hola. Hola, hola. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi. Okay, we're just going to wait for a couple more. Solo somos dos ahorita. Vamos a esperar un par. Okay, thank you. Y ya son ocho, un momento. Un par de más para que sean. Quiero ver. Vamos a un rato más en lo que conecta el resto. Ok, vamos a ir al inicio. Vamos a ver, vamos a compartir pantalla. Buenas noches. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Okay, guys. Ok, just let's go to share the screen. Okay. There we go. Uh, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay, guys, can you see my screen? Yes. 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 Very good. Okay. Now we're going to see something. Do you remember about what we were uh, talking yesterday? De que lo que estuvimos viendo ayer. Do you? Her problems. The model verb. Model mm -hmm. verb. Model verb. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Y eso lo vimos. El Pedro. 
Do we ask, give, and advise? ¿Se recuerda? Yes. 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 Okay. yes. No check. Ok. What do you suggest? Creo que aquí nos quedamos, ¿verdad? Si me equivoco. Sí. Yes, I. Yes. Ok, perfect. Just let's go to pay, let's go to pay attention to the video, please. Ok. Alto apologies. I'm sorry, guys. Not really allowed to go. We can't listen. Okay, I'm sorry. Now? Yes. Se escucha? No. No. Okay. Let me see. Now? Hi, ready to begin? Yes. Yes. Uh, yes. yes. It's okay. We will introduce modal verbs for suggestions and requests. Please practice the conversation with a classmate or a friend, as it is important to repeat for better understanding. Listen and practice. Hi, may I help you? Yes, please. Could I have something for a cough? I think I'm getting a cold. Well, I suggest a box of these cough drops. Thank you. And what do you suggest for dry skin? Try some of this new lotion. It's very good. Okay. And one more thing. My husband has no energy these days. Can you suggest anything? He should try some of these multivitamins. They're excellent. Great. May I have three large bottles, please? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Este de igual manera lo habíamos visto ayer. No sé si se recuerda. Estuvimos viendo lo del vocabulary. Now, I have a question for you guys. Well, better say, do you have any questions regarding that what we're just uh, learning yesterday respecto a lo que vimos ayer? Uh, what is the, the suggestion? Su, suggestion is can or, or should? Suggest so is just an advice. It's a should. 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 Yes. And, and can? What is? Can is, uh, I just told yesterday, okay. It is talk, okay, let's keep on telling you más. It could be like an ability. It could be like, uh, besides an ability, um, how can I explain? Oh my goodness. Hold on, please. Okay, okay, one moment. Okay, 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 okay. Open. Okay. Well, forget about this. Okay, yesterday we were talking about that could be an ability. Yes, that can. And we have also as a should is a suggestion in this case i could say i can play the piano okay i can play the guitar it will be an ability also what can i do is talking about que pudiera ser. in this one it's a suggestion yes that will be what should i do que debería. one thing is to ask what can i do que puedo hacer? Yes, what can I do there? Or I can play the guitar. Or can you please help me? Then to say, should, should. I should play, uh, I should study. For example, I can study today. Puedo estudiar hoy. Okay, or I should study today and I can do it, but I don't want to. I should study, okay? Or I should study, but I can't because there is a lot of noise. Debería estudiar, pero no puedo, okay? So one thing is that's an ability here, or else it can be used as a model. Can you please 
could you, should you, que eso lo vamos a ver más adelante. Sin embargo, can it is talking about permission, okay? It could be as a permission. For example, can I go to the party? No le va a preguntar a su mamá o a su esposa, ¿verdad? <laughs> Para los que están casados. Can I hang out with my friends? Para los que están pequeños aquí. Okay. Or if you're asking to your mother, si le están preguntando a su mamá, should I should I hang out with my friends? Okay. One here is talking about permission. Permission. Okay. Uh, so action ability. Teacher. Mm -hmm. uh, sure is using a dear, dear person. Or oh, oh, I, you. I should, she should, we should. Para todas las personas. Ok. Thanks. Mm -hmm. Okay, so can, can I hang out with my friends? It is for permission or ability. Puede ser para permiso ability. For example, you can go with your mother and you can ask mom or to your wife, Elsa, or to your husband, can I? No sé, no es correcto que le pidan, pero, okay. For example, can I go for some drinks? Puedo ir por algunas bebidas. Okay, it has a permission or ability. I can ride a car. I'm sorry, I can ride a motorcycle. Okay, I can play the guitar. And here it is, for example, once again. Boy. So can we have different cases here? Can I hang out with my friends? Estoy pidiendo un permiso. Can I go to the party? Okay. Etc. Etc. Can you, can I just miss the class today, teacher? Can I miss the class today? ¿Puedo faltar la clase hoy? ¿Por qué no me va a preguntar? Should I miss the class? ¿Me la debería faltar? No, of course not. You are going to ask for permission. An ability. I can speak three languages. Okay, it's an ability. I can play the guitar. I can play basketball, etc., etc. The northern one is request. Can you help me? Can you go with me to the party? Can, can you go to the party? Can you go to the party with me? So it is making a request, una petición. So we have different there. Now, tell me guys if this is correct, okay? I always explain to my students, siempre explico a mis estudiantes, que depende del contexto que lo quieran poner. For example, ¿ok? ¿Creen que están ambas correctas? Recuerden que una es consejo y la otra es, en este momento, una petición, un permiso, un request. ¿Cuál estaría correcta para ustedes? The first one. The first one. ¿Todos están de acuerdo? The first one. Yes, number yeah. one. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Um, okay. 
So, can I hang out with my friends? Should I hang out with my friends? Now, what about que hay de? El escenario, perception, okay? What about the perception? So it says, can I hang out with my friends? It's permission, yes, excellent. But should I hang out with my friends? ¿Qué sabemos, chicos? Aquí todos son mayores de edad. Y bueno, si no están grandecitos, ¿qué sabemos si entre eh, sus amigos, o inclusive, verdad, hay alguno que está en malos pasos? Uno de ese grupito, y sabe que va a haber algo malo, porque es una gran fiesta. Entonces le preguntan a su esposa, I don't know, should I hang out with my friends? Debería ir a la fiesta, ¿qué crees? Should I go to the party? You are asking in that case advice. Can I go to the party? Should I go to the party? Okay. Can I go to the party? Should I go to the party? Digo ejemplo. Ustedes so, saben que va a haber una boda o una uh, fiesta tóxica, como le dicen, ¿verdad? Que va a estar con todo. Okay. So, one, it's that you are an adult. Ya son adultos. Can I go to the party? Go. Ya estás adulto. Go. You can go. But what about como adulto a veces no sabe las decisiones? Y dice, tengo ganas de ir. Ya no tiene que pedir permiso nada. Should I go? Because there is going to be someone there que siempre se mete en problemas. Esta persona siempre anda en malos pasos. No sé si ir o no ir. So, should I go to the party? Yes, that's you are asking here. You're asking for a suggestion. You're asking for an advice. You know that you can do it. Puede que sí lo puede hacer. Okay. But you don't know if you should. Y está preguntando eso. So, does it make sense? The is correct. Yeah. Ex exacto. Perception and the context. El contexto okay. de. Mm -hmm. Y la percepción. De acuerdo al que, ¿verdad? Okay. De perder okay. como Thank you. Entonces, teacher, se puede explicar de acuerdo al contexto, ¿verdad? De acuerdo al contexto. So, uh -huh. Should I go? Yeah, no, why not? Perfect. Come on. For example, should I go to the party? Me está preguntando ahorita, should I go to the party? To the party? Come on, you must go. Uh, there is going to be Carlos Ponce there. And also, remember that you already had the dress. Ya tienes el vestido. Why not? Of course, go. Y me preguntan, do you think so? Yes. You, you should go, definitely. Ya tenés el permiso de tu mamá, so why not? Yes. Maybe this has to opinion. Asking for an opinion, suggestion, or an advice. Okay. Ah, no le puse aquí, or let's shoot. Not opinion. Correction. Suggestion. Advice. Para nosotros sí sería un, una opinión, si bien es esto, ¿qué crees? Porque eso tenemos la tendencia en los abuelos. ¿Qué crees? ¿Qué piensas tú? Yeah. Uh -huh. so, but it's not like that. It's just we're asking. Porque el saboreño es necio, no van a decir una cosa y es mentira. <laughs> so, yes, basically it's that suggesting or an advice. Okay. Questions? No, teacher. Thank you. Excellent. Very good. Now, okay, so it says in the next one, in this part, participant will be introduced to the use of model verbs can, could, may, for request and suggestion. Pay attention once again. The model is the palabras can, could, may, y para qué? For, para request, para pedir, para peticiones, pongámoslo como para peticiones, o sugerir, ¿verdad? So there are four of them. One, two, three, just three, I'm sorry. Okay. Suggestions or requests, para pedir algo o para sugerir. Not exactly suggestion, but well, let's just go to see. Okay, let's pay attention to this. Mm. Okay. Hello everyone, this time we will be introduced to the model verbs can, could, may, 
for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Suggestions. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drops? Could I have something for a cough? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you have for dry skin? Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. You should get some skin cream. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. What do you suggest for dry skin? Where she's What going do to... you have for dry Hold skin? Where's just going to check once again? Vamos a verlo una más. Okay, from the beginning. Can, could, may for suggestions and requests. Modal verbs can, could, may for requests. Okay, could you please read? Let me see. Porque no lo veo, participants. Hold on, guys. Se me han perdido. Oh, there you go. Okay, excellent. So, could you please read um, Joaquim Manzanero? Go ahead. Uh, may I help you? Okay, excellent. Continue, please, Roberto. May I help you? Mm -hmm. Continue, continue, Roberto. Oh, two. Okay. Can I have a box of cup drops? Excellent. Can I have a cup of drops? Excellent. Very good. Please go ahead. Could I have something for a cup? Okay. Now, first of all, let's go into analyze. In the first one, it said, okay, can or may I help you? Remember that this is for request or suggestion. Okay, peticiones o sugerencias. Okay, may I help you? Or here also we have another one. What do you suggest for oh, for dry screen? Dry screen, do you know what it means? Dry screen? Sank is dry screen? Piel seca. Piel seca. Piel seca. seca. Excellent, very good. Can I have another one? It uh, says, can I have a box of cold drops? Okay. Oh, which it doesn't make sense. No, del todo unido. Can I have a of cold drops? Okay. So in this case, it's talking about pudiera, pudiera tomar. Can I have? It's not talking about eh, algo que ustedes pueden hacer una acción. Pueden ir al doctor. And what about, can I have a box of cold drops? O si no, si van dependiendo también el, a la farmacia. Can I have a box of cold drops? Por eso les digo, depende del contexto. Could I have something for a cough? Okay. Yes. Could I have? Ambos está haciendo para request or suggestion. May I have a bottle of aspirin? Creo que lo vamos a profundizar para que vayan viendo. Y siempre hago el énfasis, chicos, no se enfoquen en que solo uno es para algo. It just always depends on the context. Okay. Uy, uy, uy. What happened here? Okay, hold on, guys. One minute, please. Okay, okay, okay. I do apologize. Can I help you? May I help you? Can I have a box of cough drop? Now, first, could you please repeat with me? Can I have a box of cough drops? Can I have a box of cough drops? Excellent. Could I have something for a cough? Could I have something for a cough? 
May I have a bottle of aspirin? May I have a bottle of aspirin? What do you suggest for dry skin? What do you suggest for dry skin? Okay, try some of this lotion. Try some of this lotion. I suggest some ointment. I suggest, I suggest some, some ointment. ointment. You ointment. should get some skin cream. You should you get, should some, get skin some skin cream. 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 Okay. Meanwhile, the moment el con el vocabulario, aquí que no sepan qué es. Remember, cough drops is como jarabe. Okay, cough is tos. Okay, aspirin, aspirina, bottle, botella. Okay, dry skin, piel seca. Lotion is just something like a winter, or something like that. Esto es un winter. Skin cream, it is talking about piel de cam. No, piel de crema. What would you say? Crema para la piel. There you go. Yeah, yeah. I suggest some ointment. ointment. In this case, can, could, and may are being used in question form to suggest or give advice. This is how we use them. Model verb plus subject plus verb have plus complement plus question. Okay. Guys, do not get confused. No se confundan entre... Vamos a ver, voy a poner camarita para acá. Okay, do not get confused in trying to memorize exactly all of this. It is not necessary just to memorize the formal. No memorize la formula. Así como ustedes ya saben cómo decir, do you eat pizza? Did she go to the restaurant? Uh, are you going to go to the party? Que ya tienen la noción cómo se hace. The same here. Model verb. Así como saben que se utiliza un auxiliar. Usually you already use at the beginning of a sentence an auxiliary or the moment of the pregunta. Yes, it depends on the, 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 the tense, depending on the tempo. Same here, okay? It is a question mark. Pasando no sé, it says model verb. Solo es algo que se llama así model verb. Con el tiempo se le va a olvidar que se llama un model, pero van a saber cómo utilizar comúnmente en una conversación. So it's can, may, and could. Then, yes, plus is, okay? Um. Well, can I have? I don't know exactly why it says here plus s, plus s plus verb. Okay, can I have? Okay, okay. Just hold on a moment. It doesn't make sense. Ahorita solo me voy a enfocar en esto. No tiene sentido lo que me está diciendo acá. Okay, model is always going to be the model verb, okay? Um, then it comes the subject. I see, I don't think sentido. Subject, then comes the verb, okay? Así como, do you eat? Did she go? Okay, have you eaten? Lo mismo aquí. Can I have? Okay, todo eso le está diciendo que va con un um, have. Con have, en este caso, ojo que no siempre, no siempre, pero si sí se lo está diciendo con have, las complementos. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? Más el complemento. Ok, so let's go to listen. Can I have eye drops? May I have plus complement plus question mark? Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirin? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using it. We use them. Okay, hold on. Question form to suggest or give advice. Okay, now, if you pay attention here, aquí dijo algo. To do a suggestion or to give an advice. Escucharon esa parte? Sí. Aquí quiero ver si hay algo más extra. Hold we on. use them. Model verb plus subject plus. Well, but it says that it was suggestion or given advice. Dijo suggestion or given advice. 
However, aquí no está diciendo de alguna sugerencia exactamente. Or it's not given. It's trying to receive. Okay. An advice. Now, I would say, preferiblemente, I would say that it would be for a suggestion. Eh, si ustedes quieren preguntar algo como un advice, it's should. Corrección en eso. Should. Porque no tiene sentido. It doesn't make sense to say, can I go to the party? Y ahí les puse el ejemplo más claro. Can I go to the party or should I go to the party? Y yo le puse, ¿cuál es el que me está diciendo un consejo? Ok. Se me va a decir, should I go? Señáleme cuál es la que está haciendo un, okay, un permiso. Can I? Ok. So, a request. It could be like, a, may I go? Yes. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. May I go? It could be like a request. May I go to the patron teacher? I mean, something to say, teacher, can I go to the patron? Yo siempre le digo a mis estudiantes, you can go, but that's not the way. You should ask, deberías pedirme así. May I go? Porque puedes decir, pero no te voy a dar permiso. So in this case, may, it will be more as permission. Okay. Now, let's go to continue. Questions about this moment, guys. Questions about this moment? Uh, bueno, oh. uh, teacher, la palabra may es similar en el sonido cuando se pronuncia al mes del año. Mayo también. Entonces, yes. ¿cómo podemos diferenciar el acento? Ok. O de alguna manera suena así, sí. Ok. May I go on vacations on May? May I go, no, may I go to Cancún on May? Context. El contexto. Vamos a lo mismo. ¿Qué significa May? Can... Can eat the can of food. Teacher. Hold on, please. Hold on. Give her her pencil. Okay. May I I go to Cancun. Okay, may I, to, may I go to Cancun? To the beach? Go to Cancun on me. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> yeah. No se deja. <laughs> okay, so we have here. Me preguntan cómo vamos a saber detectarlos. Contexto. The can, can eat the can of food. Por lo tanto, se entiende que can, al principio, si es de, va a un artículo. Por lo tanto, siempre va a haber un algo, un objeto. The This can. Animal. El animal, el canino. The can, can. Luego va, obviamente, como un... Oh. Bueno, de can, aquí van dos, pero dicho aquí van dos. Sí, vamos a lo mismo. Va como un moro. The can can eat the can of food. Canino. Puede. Lata. Can, canino. Puede. Y lata. Y lata. Can of soda. Can of tuna. Can of food. El canino puede comer la lata de comida. Give her her oh. pencil. Okay, so give her her pencil, dale ella su lápiz. Okay, I had had, I had had, uh, I had had a dog before. I had had a dog before. Okay, it's talking about another one que pudiera haber sido un pasado yo había tenido. Yes. Okay, so it's basically that. The next one, may I go to Cancun on May? Contexto, ustedes siempre van a utilizar. May fue en model. 
the, the other one was on May is talking about the date, right? Okay. Does it make sense? See? Yeah. Yes. It's clear. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. No worries. Now, let me see. This verb have plus complement plus question mark. Can I have eye drops? May I have an ointment? Could I have some aspirins? What I want you to do now is to write a sentence using each modal verb learned. Please write them in our discussion box. Okay, eso ya es cuestión de ustedes, ¿verdad? Hacerlo ya en casa, tómense su tiempo cuando tengan la libertad. Just to make a review and to do your own sentences y hacer sus propias oraciones, ¿verdad? Tienen que ser un poco autodidactas. Now, okay. Hold on, please. Okay, one moment. Just let me. Okay. One moment, please. Should, should uh, can. Okay, so we have seen can, should, and may, right? Okay. E, let me let me see. Ya han escrito en inglés. All right. Okay. Okay, okay. No, all right. Okay, one moment. Well, I was just les quería dar un ejercicio en específico. Okay, but before, just um, bye. I guess that copy. Okay, there you go. Okay, there you go. I'm just going to share my screen. Hello, Sofia. Okay. Perdón, es mi sobrina. He dejado abierto porque. Okay, no worries. Se lo voy a dejar así. Okay. Guys, existe otro model. No hemos avanzado, but there's another one that is called must. Okay. Now. And must, it is used for, okay. it is just something that you think, for example, or something that is an obligation. Mm -hmm. Obligation, obligation, or it could be also, um, supposition. Mm? Supposition. Hold on, no copying because it's not Supposition. Okay. It is an obligation. You must not smoke uh, streets. You must study. For example, viene Saul. Y Saulito me sale con cuatro en el examen. Yo no le voy a decir, hey, Saulito, you should study. Saulito, you can study more. Mm -mm. Saulito, you must study. You have four, okay? Now, 
if Saul is around mm -hmm. probably seven, I could say, um, Saulito, you should study more. Yes. If you want to get a good grade, at least I want an eight. Quiero un eight, quiero un nueve. Okay, so you should study more. I know. I know that you can do it. Pero Saulito me sale la primera con un cinco y todo ha venido arrastrado. Saulito, I'm really serious. No lo voy a decir. Saulito, you should study. No. Saulito, you must study. Just come on, focus. I don't want any games anymore. Okay, you must study this time. Next time, you will go out and you won't be on my class anymore. La siguiente vez que pase el examen, ya no va a estar en mi clase. So, it is basically, is do it, yes or no. It's not exactly even an obligation. ¿Cómo sería esto? Un deber. ¿Cómo se llama? Un deber, ¿cómo se lo pongo? Something that you have, you have to do it. There's no choice. No choice. No choice. You have to do it. You do it. Not optional. It's not. Not, it's not an option. Okay, the rent, la renta. For example, right now I'm just uh, renting uh, a room. Estoy rentando un cuarto. So the landlord won't say, hey Pan, you should pay me tomorrow. Okay, the landlord would not one say you can pay me tomorrow okay or something like that the landlord will say remember you must pay me tomorrow yes or no i even for example i can say i can pay tomorrow no it's not that i can it's not that i should i'm sorry but i can't spend money no i must pay the rent Demo la renta yes that is the must okay then supposition manzanero he looks serious serious really? <laughs> he, he must be angry it's just an example he must be angry <clears throat> Okay. Yeah. Yo no estoy diciendo que él tiene que estar enojado. Supposition. Mm. He must or he might. He must be angry. He might be angry. Okay. He must be angry or he might be angry. Okay. Pero tiene que haber una razón. No solo lo voy a decir así por así. Tiene que haber un contexto. Vale. Okay. Now, based on this, basado en esto, it says choose the right option. With can, must, and should. Okay, we're going to por Brenda. Brenda, continue here, please. Okay. Okay. Uh, number one. One, okay. Seven play the room. Really well, can, can, can. Books. Okay. O le tengo que dar salón de respuesta. No, it's okay. Okay. It says like letter B, can. Steven can play the drums very well. Excellent. Very good. Okay. okay. Lizette Sarakai. Number two. Yes. You be, you be quite, um, <clears throat> perdón. You be kids because that is talking about uh, option B, must. Excellent. You must be quiet. Now, please repeat with me, guys. You must be quiet. You must be quiet. Be quiet. That is taking a nap. That is taking a nap. That is taking a nap. Okay. Nap, it means siesta, okay? Quiet, shh. No, I said, you can't be quiet because. 
You shouldn't be quiet. Siguen haciendo ruido. You must. Sí o sí. Les toca. O sea, tienen que. Sí o sí. There is no choice. Okay. Excellent. Very good. Josué Torres. Go ahead, please. Number three. Number three. Arthur goes shopping. His fetish is uh, empty. Arthur um, must There you go. go. Qué rápido entendieron el concepto. Excellent. Porque Arthur can go shopping, pero luego continúa. His fridge is empty. Por lo tanto, el contexto nos dice. Si está vacía, tiene que ir. Sí o sí, si no se muere de hambre. Right? Okay, so he must go. Okay, excellent. Very good. Now, Roberto Quijano, number four. Team. Team. Team can eat much pet food every day. I'm sorry? You you can't. No, 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 no. Number four, number four. Every day. Number four, oh, number four. Perfecto. Okay. <laughs> Eh, como estoy en el teléfono, tengo que mover. Tin short, tin short, and it's to eat cream. Ice cream, there you go. Mm -hmm. Okay, ¿por qué? Porque no podría ser Tim Kent. Of course, sí. Tim Kent. Okay. Sí, indefinitely can, él puede, ok. Uh -huh. At least si se lo pruebe el doctor, vea. Ok. Uh -huh. uh, now, the next one is mustn't. Well, it's not, not correct there. Ok, no está bien escrito. Y bueno, si pudiera, de hecho. But in this case, it would be team shouldn't, no debería. Estoy viendo team, no debería uh -huh. ser. Ok. Now, the next one, please. Selena Marisol, go ahead. Selena, number five. Oh, you can't eat much fast food every day. Excellent. Now, you can't, is that correct? Yo puedo, yo soy una gordita feliz. ¿Por qué no? Vaya, Serena. Lo que sucede aquí es esto. You can't es como una habilidad. ¿Ok? Puede hacerlo o no puede hacerlo y si hay cierta repercusión. For example, no sé cómo decirle. Usted acaba de tener un hijo, ¿ok? Usted no va a beber licor, ¿ok? Usted no va a beber ciertas cosas porque se le va a amamantar al niño. Solo lo que se me viene, perdonen, chicos, pero es lo primero que se me viene. No, no soy mamá ni nada. So, in this case, the doctor will say, you can't. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? sorry? No, sorry. So, exactly. So, that will be, you can't. Lo mismo que si en dado caso se, uh, se tatuó o algo. You can't do this. Acaba de comer algo, le dieron esto. You can't take this. No puede porque le va a dar taquicardia. No puede porque le va a pasar esto al niño. Ok. Está diciendo no puede, pero ¿por qué? Ok. Now, aquí es totalmente algo prohibido. You must not. Ok. And another one. ¿Quién me va a prohibir a mí? Si soy una gordita feliz, ¿quién me va a decir si yo soy completamente sana? Pero viene un meque. You shouldn't eat too much fast food. Ok. So, shouldn't no deberías. Que lo haga usted otra cosa. No debería, acordemos. Ok. So, does it make sense? Ahora sí. Yeah. Ok, cool. Now, who else? Um, Josué ya lo pasé, ¿no? Sí. Ok. Natalia Ortega, go ahead, please. 
You shouldn't be afraid, Peter. You shouldn't be afraid, Peter. There you go. Excellent. Or also podría ser también. Also podría ser you must not. O sea, no quiere capaz. El tipo nunca abre la puerta. Entonces, come on. Va a estar ahí todo el tiempo conmigo. You must not be afraid. Okay. That depends on the context. Excellent. Very good. Miguel Lara, go ahead. Wow, Nadia. Speak eight language. Okay. Um, can. She can speak eight language. Excellent. There you go. Brenda, go ahead, please. Brenda Cruz. Uh, this is Dragon. Uh, drag, uh, this is the girls they um can see do see do mm -hmm. what's the la, la a b letter a b or c uh seria uh, a no, a okay now do you know what's the meaning of dangerous so it significa dangerous Ah, no, señorita Brenda, I'm sorry. Brenda, ¿usted sabía cuál es el significado de dangerous? ¿Lo sabía antes de que su compañerito se lo dijera? Hola, hola, Brenda. Hola. ¿Sabía usted el significado o sabe el significado de dangerous? Sí. Eh, no estaba muy segura. Okay. No estaba muy segura del significado. Siempre, siempre, entonces pregunten. ¿Por qué? Porque es importante saber el significado. Por muy sencillo, si me dicen qué significa play y no saben, está bien. Si me dicen que no saben qué es sit, tranquilo. Si no saben qué significa that, está correcto, tranquilos. So, everybody first repeat with me. Dangerous. Dangerous. Okay. Dangerous. 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 Now, I'm just going to explain this. It says here, this is dangerous. Es peligroso, correcto? So, we have three options. We have three options. We have can, should, and mustn't. Aquí decimos they. Si es peligroso, diríamos they can sit down. Does it make sense? Ellos se pueden sentar porque es peligroso. No. Hey, Brenda? So, I'm sorry, so. Brenda. Sería, sería la B. B. Literal, literal B. Ok. ¿Y qué significa el show? Eh, porque se, eh, sería. Deben. Ajá. Debería. Ok. Should es podría. Uh -huh. O sea, de poder uh -huh. compromiso. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Sí, Debería. Uh -huh. Ok. Excellent, excellent. Now, you know, that depends of the context. What about. Y if it says, imagínense que está rota la silla, es un ejemplo. This is dangerous. They must not. Imagínense que fuera una silla y está rota una banda. Ahí se sería, they must not, right? Sit down. En este caso, this is dangerous. Y parece como que están arriba. They mm -hmm. should sit down. Nunca han ido a este carrito libre. No me acuerdo cómo se llama. Conga o algo así, ¿no? Conga bus. Conga bus. Es bien Chivo. Yo sí me subí porque tuve que ver a, a unos alumnos de Sonsonate. No tan chivo porque hubo un tiempo que ya me tuve que quedar acostada, literalmente, ya tapándome toda la cabeza, porque iban palos por palos por todas partes. <laughs> But well. Then it is uh, the next one, Carlitos. Go ahead, please. Number nine. Analice, pero vea primero si no sabe alguna palabra. Carlitos se congeló, ¿verdad? Yes. Capaz que se congeló con intención. <laughs> ok. <laughs> ok. Cory, continue, please. Cory Monterrosa. Ok, teacher. Ok. Sam. Sam. Should protect his skin with some sun cream. Okay. Mm. 
Shan must, creo que es. Exacto, pudieran ser dos. Por ejemplo, mm -hmm. imagínense. Dos, porque es una sugerencia. Yes, por ejemplo, no soy así como que suena feo para una persona, mi, mi sobrinita o algo así que es morenito, tienes que cuidar a la niña. She should, uh, she should use some cream. Yes. Al morenito siempre dicen, no, si no me pasa nada, no importa. Yeah, but you, you should do it. En cambio, a mí, que soy demasiado blanca, que tengo tendencias de otras cosas y lunares extraños. Ah. So, in that, my doctor wouldn't say, you should. Mi doctor prefiere prevenir un cáncer de la piel. And he say, you must. <laughs> yes, no es uh -huh. But well, yes, in my case, it's not you should. It will be you must. A otras personas que tienen la piel más fuerte son morenitas, it's great. You should use. They will say, I don't import. But yes. Now, my sister, let me see, Miguel Lara, continue. My sister Amanda baked delicious biscuit. Can. Excellent. Excellent. Ahora, Miguel, ¿qué hay si estuviera en un trabajo? Yo se la voy a leer. My sister Amanda baked delicious biscuit. She is a chef and she works for the best bakery. She is, must, she, she, is must. Yes, excellent. Okay. ¿Por qué? Porque ella va a trabajar probablemente en el restaurante más famoso. She must do it. Come on, tenés que. Yes. Okay, excellent. Then, contexto. Selena, ya la pasé, ¿verdad? Selena, yes. Uh, señorita Cruz, still there? Okay. Juan Reyes, go ahead, please. No, 12. 11. Juan your Reyes. Cousin, your cousin can serve very well, and you? ¿Quién es el que está pasando ahorita? Brenda Cruz. Excellent, very good. Your cousin, continue. Your cousin can serve very well, and you? Excellent, very good, very good, excellent. Okay, ¿por qué? Porque hasta está haciendo pregunta, ¿verdad? Okay, now, Carlitos, continue please, number 13. Ya le va a enseñar la tarea, ya la va a ver, papá, espérense. Okay, now, Carlitos, 13, please. Okay, teacher, a problem on Zoom, no, se me desconecta. No worries, no worries. Okay, pero que no puedo ahorita, no puedo mover esta cosa, man. Okay, no worries, okay. Then we're going to continue then with Carla Ortiz. No. Okay, Juan Reyes. Number, number ah, three. Carla. There you go, Carlita. Hold on, please. No, oh, perdón. Okay, uh, 13. Number 13. Okay, Sheila. Sheila Shoulder played the bass song at all. Okay. Shouldn't. Okay, Sheila shouldn't. Is that correct? Yeah. Is that? Yes. Okay. Shouldn't. Okay. Yes. Definitely. Okay, shouldn't. Okay. Oh, can't. No, we can't play. No, it is can't. Acuérdense que aquí es porque no puede. Shouldn't, tal vez, podría hacerlo, but depends of the context here, could say like can't or shouldn't. Si él no puede, por lo tanto, no debería hacerlo. Okay. Sheila can't okay. play the bassoon. Ese se llama, lo acabo de buscar porque no me sabía el nombre en, en inglés, lo acabo de buscar el nombre del basú, ¿cómo se llama? Fagot. Nunca he visto un fagot, pero lo busqué, el basú, what it means, fagot, fagot, basú. Excellent, very good. Uh, Lorena Alonso. Freddy eh, uh -huh. can sleep. He has a very important exam. Excellent. Uh, well, In that case, it would be shouldn't. No debería de. And the last one, Carlitos, la 21, por favor. No, Number? 
21. Vamos, vamos, vamos. You see where? Uh -huh. Someone wear your glasses. Um, um, can? Can't. No puede ver. Okay. Someone wear your glasses. You can't see well. Samuel, wear your glasses. Ponete los lentes, ¿verdad? Okay. Ok, guys, so basically stats son las nueve en punto, así que me retiro. Gusto verlos, los veo mañana. Say okay, goodbye, teacher. Goodbye, teacher. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.